Welcome to another episode of Junk I Used to Do in Lightwave. This video will be a hit list of a few things I loved about Lightwave and how to do them in Blender. One reason I think 3D animation noobs found Lightwave so intuitive was the ability to set the viewport to the camera and control it, quote, from within, using the pan and rotate tools by pressing Y for rotate and T for translate. It really made animating sweeping camera motions a breeze. It's also pretty simple to control the camera in Blender. First, click the tiny little carrot on the top right of the main viewport. Go to View and then check the box under View called Camera to View. This will lock the viewport to the camera. Now click on the camera icon or hit numpad 0 to jump to the camera view. Now you can use Blender's normal view manipulation shortcuts to move the camera. Middle mouse click or scroll wheel click to rotate the camera. Shift scroll wheel click to pan the camera and alt scroll click to dolly the camera forward and backwards. Did you just pop out a gray hair because clicking the scroll wheel does nothing? For once, we don't have to blame Blender's UI. Odds are you have a mouse that installed software just to F with you. Open the Logitech or whatever manufacturer's app and change the middle button back to middle button. I don't remember what the factory setting was, but it sure as hell was not middle button. Now for some more really quick tips. Parenting in Lightwave was easy, just drag and drop. Now in Blender, I'm just hitting Shift A to create a new object. Now you're probably trying to drag your new object in the scene collection. God damn it, I just want it to parent. To make it work, just hold down Shift and voila. To move an object origin in Lightwave, all you had to do was select Modify Move Pivot. It was also an excellent source of manipulator bugs while animating. In Blender, say you pressed Shift Space to bring up tools. Where the hell is Move Origin tool? Well, fear not. It's in that little carrot thingy again. Pop out the drawer and go to Tool, then select Effect Only Origins. Bam, there you go. One last tip. Remember A and Shift A to center on and scale the viewport to fit an object? Fear not. In Blender, just hit Numpad period. I'm trying to break my reliance on Lightwave's four viewports. To squash this habit, you really have to switch to using the number pad. If you're like me and have a minimal keyboard, you may want to buy an external numpad. There's quite a selection of numpads for around 10 bucks and up to $30 for fancy wireless backlit models. I've been animating with Lightwave for over 20 years. If you're like me, you pooped your pants a little when you found out Rob Powers, Anti Harvela, and John Tyndall left. You probably peed your pants a little too when you found out the company Vizzert bought Lightwave. Oh well, what can you do? Let's cry tears of joy and pain together on our Blender journey. Thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.